I'm Fraser Kane, the publisher of Universe Today. The earth feels firm and solid beneath your feet. Everything's calm and quiet, right? And yet we know the planet is rapidly spinning on its axis, completing one full rotation every day. As we're gravitationally bound to the planet, we're hurtling around in space right along with it. We follow a circular path around the earth at hundreds of kilometers per second. So just how fast does it spin? And how fast are we rotating around on the surface? Before we can talk speed, we got to clarify how long a day is. It gets a little sticky. We count a day as 24 hours. This is the length of time it takes for the sun to return to the exact same spot in the sky as it was in the day before. Astronomers call this a solar day. And here's where it gets a little complicated. As we're taking a full year to go around the sun and changing our relative position to our star, we have to add about four minutes every day to nudge the sun back into the same spot. Which means that if you look down at the Earth and watch it turn one complete rotation on its axis, you'd count 23.93 hours. This is what's known as a sidereal day, and it's a more accurate measurement of the planet's rotation. This is the amount of time we're going to use to calculate the speed the Earth turns at. Let's assume that you're standing on the equator, the halfway point between the North and South Pole. Over the course of a sidereal day, you'll travel along the entire circumference of the Earth and end back at your starting point. We know the circumference of the Earth is 40,075 kilometers. Divide 23.93 hours into the circumference and you get 1,675 kilometers per hour or 465 meters per second. Every second that goes by, you've hurtled almost half a kilometer through space and you didn't even break a sweat. The spinning is even causing you to lift off the Earth a little bit, like when you spin a weight on a string. That lifting force is about 0.3% of the force of gravity pulling you down. If the Earth wasn't spinning, you'd weigh 0.3% more than you do now. As you travel towards the poles, your speed of rotation slows down. Just imagine if you were standing straight upright on the North Pole, lining your own axis up with the Earth. It would take you a whole day to turn around once, which is pretty slow, even by sloth standards. Our space agencies take advantage of this Earth's rotation to launch rockets. The closer you are to the equator, the less fuel you need to get into orbit or the heavier payloads you can carry. That's why Cape Canaveral in Florida is such a great place to launch rockets. Some clever people created Sea Launch, which blasts rockets off from an ocean platform right at the equator, which is even better at maximizing your launch benefits of planetary rotation. Thanks for watching. Now make sure you click subscribe on our YouTube channel over here. And maybe you've still got some questions about space and astronomy, like this one or that one. And if you don't see the question you're looking for, then send me an email at info at universetoday.com.